story. United Nations agencies warn that refugees and displaced communities in the Democratic Republic of Congo and other African countries with MPOX outbreaks are at particular risk of illness and death because of their living conditions. Lisa Schlein reports from Geneva. The World Health Organization reports at least 42 suspected cases of MPOX have been identified within the displaced population in Democratic Republic of Congo, South Kivu province, one of the regions hardest hit by the disease. Confirmed and suspected cases of the new Clade 1B strain also have been recorded among refugee populations in the Republic of the Congo and Rwanda. Dr. Alan Maina, the United Nations Refugee Agency's public health chief, says more suspected cases are being reported in conflict-impacted provinces in eastern DRC. That region hosts the majority of the country's 7.3 million internally displaced people. He warns the virus threatens to worsen the plight of millions of people devastated by decades of conflict who have been forcibly uprooted from their homes and subjected to human rights abuses. He adds that people fleeing violence are unable to implement many of the MPOX prevention measures that could keep them healthy and save their lives. With this, uh, we see that displaced families living in crowded uh, schools, uh, shelters and tents and also in churches and also in farmers' fields and they have no space uh, to isolate when they develop symptoms of the disease. UNSCR staff have found in some afflicted individuals trying diligently to follow preventive measures and protect their communities, including by sleeping outside. Today, the World Health Organization reported more than 18,000 suspected and confirmed cases of MPOX with 615 deaths in the Democratic Republic of Congo so far this year. It says more than 220 cases of the new strain Clade 1B have been found in the DRC's neighbors. WHO spokesperson Dr. Margaret Harris says the disease is spreading quickly, noting that 5,400 suspected cases have been recorded in North and South Kivu as of August. She says refugees and displaced people are at particular risk. Just heard about the description of the conditions under which people are living and have arrived in very, you know, already very stressed, hungry, terrified, displaced. So that gives an immuno- it, there's an immunological deficit, there's an immunological weakness, which makes them more likely to become more ill with anything they get including um, uh, MPOX. MPOX is spread through close physical contact. Harris says this makes children particularly vulnerable as the disease spreads easily through skin-to-skin contact. She says children who have close physical contact with an infected adult relative cannot fight off the virus because of weaker immune systems. Lisa Schlein for VOA News, Geneva. Kenya on Tuesday unveiled the candidature of its former Prime Minister Raila Odinga for chairperson of the African Union Commission at a careful ceremony graced by several East African community heads of state. President William Ruto led the launch at State House, Nairobi, where he hosted East African Community Chairman Salva Kilmayadid, who is also the president of South East Sudan. President Samia Suruhu Hassan of Tanzania and Yoweri Museveni of Uganda. Also in attendance were Burundi Prime Minister Gervais Ndila Kubona, Rwanda State Minister for Foreign Affairs James Kabalebe, former Tanzania President Jakaya Kikwete, and his Nigeria counterpart Oresegun Obasanjo, among other dignitaries. Speaking at the event, Dr. Ruto said Mr. Odinga enjoys a positive reputation as a a zealous Pan-African who has consistently demonstrated a strong faith in Africa's responsibilities and exemplary commitment to the cause of laying a robust foundation for Africa's transformation. The head of state showered Mr. Odinga with praises, noting that he is the best candidate for the position and that he would do all it takes to make him win the February 2025 election. 
he said. I know that Rylodinger not only possesses the requisite credentials, but he is also the ideal candidate to lead the A African Union Commission. Accordingly, Kenya endorses his candidature unreserved, and we commit wholeheartedly to support his candidature, vision, and leadership. Mr. Odinga's remarkable leadership and exemplary career make him a perfect fit to sit at the helm of the African Union Commission and drive Africa's transformation and agenda 2063. He is an ardent champion of African unity, African integration, infrastructure, connectivity, and youth empowerment. Mr. Odinga's strategic focus, he said, is to harness Africa's rich and vast human and natural resources for the benefit of Africa's peoples, making him the optimal choice for this position. During the State House event, Dr. Ruto launched Mr. Odinga's campaign secretariat, which will be jointly led by Foreign Affairs Principal Secretary Coril Singoy and former U.S. Ambassador to the United States, Elkana Odimbo. Mr. Odinga said that he was ready to serve Africa. He said, my heart is ready, my hands are steady, and with your support, I shall get the opportunity to be of service to Africa. The clado of mankind are made in East and Africa of Africa, he said. He exuded confidence that he would win the seat in the first round of elections. Mr. Odinga will contest against the Djibouti Foreign Minister Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, former Mauritius Foreign Minister Anil Kumasingh, and Richard James, a former Madagascar Foreign Minister. Mr. Odinga pledged to push for scrapping of visa for intra-Africa travel and removal of trade barriers as he spelled out his vision of a united continent characterized by peace and prosperity for all.